Now you lot already can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, you know what video this is. And today we have taken a significant turn in the race to sign this football player, right? And it looks like the rumours are finally true. They have finally come alive and yeah, this could be the biggest transfer video the whole year or well, ever. It's going to be the biggest transfer video ever. When the final information comes alive and it is literally signed off, I'm going to make another transfer video on this player and on this channel of course obviously now if you want to see that video guys let's smash 5,000 likes and thumbs up down below if we can do that of course that video is going to come to you probably this week all right but this is the biggest transfer video i've done this year so it would be insane to hit that target now as always you can see two custom controllers there if you want to buy a custom xbox or playstation controller check out get grip and in the description down below there'll be a link to it up here or up here we'll also get you five percent off and now of course we're going to talk about neymar to psg now today ladies and gentlemen confirms that move is on the cards. So in this video we're going to take a look at obviously Neymar's situation and obviously all that. Then we're going to look at loads of confirmed transfers after so you can see loads of confirmed ones from this week and of course like a big big confirmed one as well like amazing. So Barcelona have released a statement today saying of course Neymar it could be well it looks like he wants to move okay he's come out and actually handed in like a transfer request or whatever. Now listen to this okay this is on BBC Sport. Barcelona have told PSG they must pay a world record 222 million pound fee in full for Neymar all right in full now usually transfers you can see like they pay bits over like three years they pay over three or four years but no 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 Barcelona want that money in full how the hell are PSG gonna send 222 million pounds like you know straight across like I don't know how they're gonna do it it's insane now the Brazilian international arrived at training on Wednesday today of course with his father and representatives and told the Spanish club he wanted to leave now he was then given permission okay by Barca manager to not train and sort out his future so he missed training this morning which was a big one. Now PSG are understood they are ready to pay the 25 year olds really release clause. Of course they're ready. Of course they are. Now the latest development okay comes two days after it emerged that Barca were ready to push for a financial fair play investigation if PSG signed Neymar. So yeah Neymar PSG looking like it's very very much done and I'm gonna tell you guys how much it is done all right. That didn't really make a lot of sense but I'm about to inform you guys how done this deal really really is. So forgetting that he's on a private jet right now he's flown into London with his agents. Forget and all that. The best player in the world, or one of the best players in the world, Barcelona teammate, current teammate, looking like a former teammate, Lionel Messi has posted a tribute message to Neymar on Instagram. Ladies and gents, as you guys can see, 90, I mean, I don't know how many views it's got now, it's like tens of millions now, probably, but Messi posted on Instagram a little tribute to Neymar. Now, it was in Spanish, but I'm going to tell you now what it says in English translation. It was a great pleasure to have shared all these years with you, my friend Neymar. I wish you good luck in the new stage of your life. See you tomorrow. Now, Neymar actually responded on the post saying thank you brother i will miss you uncle so wow the biggest transfer in the world is look, looks like it's absolutely confirmed messi's confirmed it neymar's confirmed that he's gonna miss him i don't know is age barcelona confirmed he wants to leave now it's just down to psg to cough up the funds in full and we are gonna see the most expensive player in the world again did i mention this guy's like double the price of the most expensive player in the world so far so we're seeing a big jump and we're gonna see a big transfer video on my channel very very soon like i said if you want to see that video guys drop a like and a thumbs up down below 5,000 likes in this video and that video is gonna happen the day it comes out the day the pen to paper and the photo shoot of Neymar with a PSG kit as soon as that day happens this video is coming out well the video is coming out like let me just tell you it's coming out all right so I think it's fair to say it's time to turn in well turn our attention to another player now that actually signed for Man United this week and it is a big big player I think 40 million pounds they paid for him but we'll talk about that we've got Matic to Manchester United now Nemanja Matic okay Manchester United complete the signing of Chelsea midfielder obviously Jose Mourinho Mourinho has finally, finally, finally got his guy that he wanted. Manchester United have completed the signing of Matic from Chelsea for £40 million and a three-year deal. Now, let's talk about that for a minute or two, okay? Because let's be honest, £40 million is a lot of money for a 29-year-old, okay? It is a lot of money for a 29-year-old, but to only sign this guy in a three-year deal is a bit crazy. So, we've signed him, all right, for £40 mil and only got a three-year contract on him. That seems pretty steep. Now, United manager Jose Mourinho described Matic as a team player who has everything he, we want in a footballer, loyal consistency and ambition. Matic said he was delighted to be joining at an exciting time. The Serbian international actually added to work with Jose Mourinho once again was an opportunity I couldn't turn down. I've enjoyed my time at Chelsea and would like to thank the club and the fans for their support. I cannot wait to meet my new teammates and start training with them. Now former Chelsea manager of course Mourinho spent £21 million to sign Matic from Benfica for a second spot at Stamford Bridge in January 2014. So this is another situation when a manager has signed a player for the second 
second time at two different clubs. This isn't uncommon. This actually does happen quite a lot. But yes, Man United have signed another player. Big money. They're spending big money. Man City is spending big money. Chelsea, to be fair, is spending pretty decent money. I don't really know. I the Premier League is going in, but it's still no Neymar business, is it? So basically, a little situation here. Actually, we've got another player next, Adrian Ramos. Now, Adrian Ramos, what can we tell you about Adrian Ramos? Well, this guy, of course, was a Dortmund. I think a lot of you remember him. He had, was pretty, like, overpowered striker in FIFA on my team, that is for sure. So when he was at Borussia Dortmund, he actually went to Granada on loan in 2017. And what happened then? Okay, basically, they sold him. Borussia Dortmund sold him to the Chinese Super League, I believe. And now what's happened is, they got signed... Well, according to Wikipedia, the Chinese Super League team signed him. He's played not a single game for them and he's been loaned back out to Granada once again. But this is twice in his life he's been loaned to Granada and he didn't even make a single appearance for the Chinese Super League team. I don't know why. They paid like 12 million euros for him and they're not even playing him and sending him out on loan. Is it because of the Chinese Super League season or something? I don't really know. I don't really follow that end of the world football to be fair. But yeah, just letting you guys know a few players that are still playing and still moving about of course. Well, obviously this guy back in FIFA next year because the Chinese Super League obviously isn't. Granada, wow. Is I think. So yeah, Adrian Ramos, OP striker, back in FIFA. Pretty decent, I suppose. Now, I'm going to tell you guys about an ex-Liverpool player that's actually still playing football, and he's just moved to a brand new club, and it's actually Maxi Rodriguez. Who remembers Maxi Rodriguez? Well, the former Argentinian star, according to this, joins Uruguay's Penarol. If I pronounced that right, I don't know. But anyway, Uruguay's Penarol has signed former Argentinian winger, international winger, of course, Maxi Rodriguez, and a free transfer from Newell's Old Boys. Have I said that right as well? So yes, this is what's interesting about this. Obviously, the, this guy left Liverpool to go back to Argentina. But anyway, Rodriguez will earn around $70,000 a month, which will make him the highest paid footballer in Uruguay. So that's right. And the whole Uruguay, Maxi Rodriguez, ex-Liverpool player, is the highest paid player. It's 70 grand a month. So, not too bad for him. He's still earning good money. So, yeah, this is a bit of an interesting one, of course. I found this article on New Indian Express. So, I'm going, like, I'm going into the distance this week to get some confirmed transfer business for you lot. Because other than Neymar and other than the Matic stuff, like, like, it's been a little bit dry this week and last week, to be fair. It's been a little bit dry. But, Max Rodriguez, you've saved me a little bit here in the video because your transfer was actually quite interesting. Ex-Liverpool, now the highest paid player in Uruguay, still out there playing football, like 35, 36 years of age. I didn't even know this, but he was actually capped 57 times for Argentinian's national team as part of their campaign for the 2006, 10, and 14 World Cups. He's played in three different World Cups. That's not bad. Last but not least, we've got a player that I just, you know, I needed another player, basically. And, yeah, this was one of the most interesting ones of the week, believe it or not. I've actually got Beto, the goalkeeper. Rem you remember him from all my team? Well, yeah, he's moved on. He's got himself a new club. So he was at Sport in Lisbon, okay? He made three appearances for them in a year. He was at Seville before that. He's been at Braga, Porto. He's been at a lot of different clubs, basically. But now he's actually gone to a Turkish team, all right? He's actually gone to a Turkish team. That's basically it, really. This guy's now 35 years of age. Like I say, he's been at lots of clubs. Obviously, a lot of people know him from his time in Portugal. His time, obviously, in Spain at Seville. Now, on July the 29th, okay, shortly having after expressed the desire to leave Sporting in order to have a better chance of the 2008 18 World Cup selection, Beto has joined a Turkish side for an undisclosed fee. So, now at 35 years of age, he's thinking the only way I'm going to get in the Portuguese World Cup team is by moving to Turkey. I'm not sure that is the best route, but that's one that he obviously feels like is the best. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget 5,000 likes would be absolutely insane for the biggest transfer in the world ever, ever, ever. What I'm going to do right now is briefly talk about the transfers as they happen, well, all the five players and stuff, give my final thoughts and opinions on them. Now, the first player, of the course, is Neymar. Now, Neymar looks like this is basically done deal. I mean, Messi's paid tribute to him. He said he wants to leave. He's now in talks with PSG. Can PSG pay the £222 million in full? That is something that we're going to find out this week. And another video will be following that. So stay tuned. Matic to Manchester United. Good transfer for him because obviously, uh, well, not for him, but for the club, of course. Good transfer for the club, of course. He can move on. He can do his thing. And now, obviously, he's won the Premier League a few times with Chelsea. Now, what is going to happen with a load of other players like Fellaini, Pogba, is Pogba going to be allowed to push on forward and stuff? Is Fellaini, I don't know, dropped a little bit? I don't really know, but Matic to Man United. Good transfer, but I'm not sure about the money side of it. 40 mil for three a contract? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Then we've got Adrian Ramos. don't really know his situation. Since he's left Borussia Dortmund, obviously, he's gone to China. Now, China's obviously not playing him. He's gone to Granada on loan. Yeah, we'll see him back in FIFA. But other than that, we don't really care too much about that. Max Rodriguez, ex Liverpool player. You probably thought this guy would retired, but he's actually still the highest played player in Uruguay. Can't really believe I'm saying it. Good transfer for him, though. Still earning good money at his age. 
age. So fair play to him. Now, last but not least, we have Beto, the goalkeeper. Now, this one is not really much of an interesting player, to be fair. Just something that I had to feature because, like I say, the transfers this week have been really, really dry. I've been a little bit disappointed other than Matic and now Neymar situation. There's not really much to really talk about. That's why the transfer videos have been a little bit not as good, really, in the last few weeks. I've been a bit disappointed in them. Obviously, there's nothing I can do about that. But anyway, Beto, goalkeeper, he's going to Turkey to try and get himself in the 2000 and, well, the next World Cup. I don't even know when it is. I've lost my plot. I've lost the plot. 35 years of age, he's gone to Turkey, I don't think that's going to increase the chances to get himself in the next World Cup team. I don't really think there's much of a chance, but hey, what do I know? What do I know? But anyway guys, take it easy, hopefully you have a good day and a good weekend coming up. Take it easy, peace.